first road series of the season. Your only nine conference road uh, series against Kennesaw State. We're going to talk about KSU in just a moment, but out to a three and one start, had to be fairly happy with that. Yeah, you know, I think we played okay. Uh, one thing we've really done consistently is defend, and, and most of the time I tell our team if you if you play defense, you're going to be in games. And, and, and you know, we were one hit away, a couple hits away against Ole Miss because we played good defense. And you know, I'm looking to. Uh, Continue that, and, and, uh, and we set this weekend up as kind of like a Conference USA Road Series, and, and, and setting it up just like you do a, a road weekend. So uh, I'm anxious to see how our guys respond, and, and you know I like I like three game series because you can match bullpen to bullpen, and I like our, I like what our bullpen can do. Coach, if you average just one error a game, you're a very good defensive team. You've only made two errors in four games. Is this maybe the I mean quite possibly the best defensive team you've had since you've been here? Well, you know we're off to a good start there, and it's got to continue. I think playing defense. Uh, a big part of it is experience and passion, and, and you know we got to, as coaches, we got to keep the passion to defend because baseball players get very concerned with offensive and hitting statistics, and because that's yeah. what makes the you know that's what makes the papers usually. But uh, you know, so we got to take this old group and keep them passionate about playing defense, and then you know what our what our pitchers have to contribute to that is we got to climb in more advantage counts. We, we pitched in too many deep counts, you know, with our rotation last weekend. And, and uh, you know, I thought we defended pretty well Tuesday night because, for the most part, Dane attacked the strike zone, threw a lot of strike ones. It used to be with the old bats, you could play a three or four error, maybe sometimes a five error game, and pull out a win. With the new bats, the errors elevated. Uh, you know, one or two errors could cost you a game now. Yeah, and you've seen a lot low, lower scoring games. The, 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 the runs have been scored; they've been walks and errors, and that's what you know. That's what Evansville gave us. You say. They made a few miscues and they walked some guys, and we were able to mount some hits and, and elevate the scores. And, uh, you know, that's usually what starts the end. Even the runs we gave up last weekend started with a couple of plays yeah. we didn't make, a double play we didn't turn. And so those things get talked about a lot with our team uh, in, in, in practice. And we've really worked hard with this club defensively and, and, and keeping the passion going. Offensively, have you and Zuli, uh, Coach Zuli, talked to the team. When you get off to a hot starting, uh, hitting start in the first four games, a lot of guys really want to stroke it then. That can get you in the air a lot playing in a big yard this weekend. How much do you preach to them? Just keep the same approach, go for line drives. Yeah, that's going to be talked about a lot. And I think it's, you know, the way the ballpark's playing, we'll have to uh, line balls up, we'll have to get runners started, and we'll have to play our style of offense and defend the gaps. You know, the gaps are pretty big here. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to be a home run fest. We've got a little breeze blowing. So lining balls up, that's been our strength. We've done a good job of that. We, for the most part, we've stayed out of the air pretty good, and, and uh, our guys understand that. Sticking with the same rotation, you want consistency. They do pretty well for a first weekend and opening weekend against Evansville. Yeah, two new guys and two new roles, and that, that was a little, you know, if you want to say if anything was uncomfortable, that was it. I look for them to rebound and give us better starts this week, and, and, and we're, they're going to have to if we're, we're going to make noise in the conference like we want to. So. Uh, so, you know, I challenge them that they've all got to be better this weekend. Just four games in the season, but your bullpen, your bullpen looks vastly improved. Well, you, you have a guy like Ben Paulus down there for late in the game, and, and it, you know, lets you play offense a little differently, yeah. too. It lets you try to run a little bit and play for one. So, we haven't had a guy like that with stuff like that down there in a few years. So, uh, in between the starters and him, there's, there's still some question marks. Some guys have, have, have gotten opportunities and have, you know, haven't really taken advantage of them We'll look to try to answer more questions on that this weekend. First time you've been on the road, and a uh, big storm came through here last night. It was kind of iffy uh, looking at the weather early in the week when we get to play, but it's a nice day. you got mostly sunny skies. It'll be a little bit chilly, but it's going to be a, a nice weekend for baseball. It's going to be typical early season weather, you know, a little breezy, and, and uh, our guys are so excited to be on the field. Uh, I don't think it's going to bother them at all. You know, it does, it does affect you know, the ball's not carrying like, you know, like you think it would yeah. later in the year. So uh, well, I think communicating on defense on a windy day is always highly important. The wind is blowing out, but it's a big yard and the new bat, so you can afford maybe to be a little bit of a fly ball pitcher today. Yeah, you can get in the air a little bit. And, and, uh, you know, what, I think what you got to regard against is, is, is the gaps here. And, uh, the form, those gaps and the and, and, and it becomes how shallow, how deep you play based on, you know, you know what you're seeing too is we're seeing more guys thrown out of the plate than in our streets because outfielders are playing a lot shallower now. So. So this, this is the ballpark that, that you can get greedy, and, and, and if, they're, if they're playing shallow, they're going to be more mistakes at the station and playing late in the game. So, uh, but, but I'm excited to see this team unfold for nine innings, three days in a row, and, and uh, excited to see some guys in our bullpen get opportunities and, and you know, answer more questions about the club. Kennesaw, fairly new Division One program. I believe it's their sixth, maybe seventh year in Division One. Uh, they had run off a streak of 31 seasons, and they were Division Two power. This is a very uh, prideful program. I think a lot of pride in what they do. They're very solid. Very solid. You know, they've won some national championships. 
last time I coached the game, uh, they were NAI when I was in Birmingham Southern. That was you know, some 30 years ago. They were very solid men. Mike was good men. And, and uh, you know, uh, they, they've attracted a, a quality athlete from the, from the state of Georgia. You look at their roster, they sprinkle with a lot of Georgia kids, and they play great baseball here in the state. So they'll be a challenge. They'll be just like a Conference USA opponent. They're 5 0. They're playing a lot of confidence. Wrapping it up, they're a very good offensive team. Their, their sophomore catcher, Freeman, was an All American a year ago. Garrett Whittle's going over for an opening day. He has the longest uh, hitting streak in the country now at 34 games. He's a very really good player, very good offensive player. And, uh, you know, it's rare for you to get that kind of offensive production out of the catcher. And we'll see how it mounts on him as the season goes on. He picked right up back before he left off last year. And, and he'll, you know, he's definitely a guy that we've talked about a lot. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. We'll be back after the.